what it is what it ain't it's your girl ombrella and i am back with another video in today's video i will be discussing pop smoke so if you want to continue to watch this video make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you know what it is and what it ain't if you don't know who i am my name is ombre Charday ellison i'm 25 years old and i'm from washington dc i'm here on youtube talking about real topics real conversations real things going on in black culture and black media and just all over realness all right so with that being said i'm going to start the video and um in the celebration of black history month everything that i will be saying in this video is going to be no cap in it it's going to be no filter in it um <laughs> i'm unapologetically black all the time but certain things just need a little extra spice so with that being said i'm gonna get started um i did like everybody else hear about the recent death of pop smoke the new york rapper um i listen to his music all the time and i was immediately sad when i woke up and i saw people posting pictures of him and i was confused because i was just like no nah, like he couldn't he couldn't be dead like what what like i was really shocked for a minute until i saw you know the shade room and everybody posting it so then i knew it had to be true and i mean it's it just the murder itself just immediately disgusted me and i'm including this topic into my videos about black history and black history month is because we need to really stop hating on each other and stop being jealous of each other when most of us are in the same situation most of us we we from the hood we trying to make it out the hood and we're trying to use the things that god has given us and the talents that god has given us to use that as a way to make it out of the hood so that we can change our life for the better and the life of our family so i really um am disturbed about this and disturbed about the fact that he's so young he was only 20 years old and he was shaking shit up in the music game you know he's starting to get you know hella features with other artists and um just his deep voice like his deep rapping voice um it really attracted me to his music and just the the whole east coast vibe like i say i'm from dc so Every time I hear some hard, you know, East Coast vibe music, then I'm rocking with it naturally. But um, I'm hearing some things about, you know, that these social media sites like The Shade Room and TMZ are putting out. And um, to me, it's like it's switching the narrative from um, the fact that he did get murdered in his house, you know, from the fact that there was a home invasion to... Maybe he did it to himself. Maybe it's because he posted his Addy and somebody saw that and wanted to um, retaliate or use it to break in his house. Look, let me just let me just say this. This is a young 20, 20 year old rapper. OK, if he put all the work in and he did everything that he was supposed to do to acquire the success that he had. There is nothing wrong with him throwing a party. There's nothing wrong with him. What I got from the video of an alleged address, I didn't even see the fucking address. It was all blurry and shit. I'm, I'm thinking in his mind that he was just posting the brand of bags that he had. It, and everybody does that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not fair to just be like, oh, he did it to himself. What? And this and that's what the shade room posted. It's almost like they they made their own opinion of what they think led up to the murder. And I don't think that's cool because none of us are police, none of us are FBI investigators. So none of us really are investigating this case and none of us really know the immediate details. So for the shade room to be putting so much of their attitude and their opinion into someone's death someone's untimely death is just a little bit too it's too shady if you ask me and um i'm noticing a a common denominator between like the nipsey death and his death and it's hate and jealousy it's like 
it's too much and it's in the black community like it's it's between us we're doing it to each other i just don't understand instead of hating on somebody else and being jealous of somebody else you could find out what you're talented at and focus on that shit you know what i'm saying focus on your own shit focus on your own shit you're putting too much energy into being fake as hell with people when you really have a motive and a premeditated agenda of hurting somebody that's fucked up if you don't like somebody eliminate yourself from their from their life don't be around them if you're jealous of somebody fix your shit worry about you do you because if you're jealous and if you take the time out to actually be jealous there's something about that person that you admire that you're not doing so why don't you take that use it as an inspiration to create something for yourself and for your people you don't have to spend time hating and being jealous because that's what it's all about i think that these social media sites have it fucked up and they're trying to like create a narrative to give to people to be like well he was 20 years old he was young and he probably did something stupid and everybody that's 20 years old isn't stupid okay when i was 20 years old i was still as um mature i was very mature for my age a lot of people always think that i'm at least 30 or 30 something and i'm just i'm just 25 you know what i'm saying but i'm saying when i was 20 I'm, I carry myself a certain way. Everybody that is 20 years old or 21 years old isn't crazy, buck wild, want to do a bunch of drugs and shit like that. Everybody's not the same. So for you to like try to, for these social media sites and even people to just be saying that he did it to himself and all this other shit. No, there's snakes in the fucking grass. That's what I'm telling you is that it was a setup. There's snakes in the grass. There's people. This happened because someone was jealous of him. Someone that was close enough to know his schedule, know when he was going to be home. You feel me? Someone knew him and was jealous and was hating and did that shit to him. That's what happened. And of course, I'm not, like I said, I'm not no investigator. I'm not no FBI. But at the end of the day, real niggas know what's up. And what I mean by that is, is that... If you a real nigga and you didn't have friends that have turned on you, then you know what it is. You know it's some grimy, hating shit. So, I just want to say, I'm going to close out the video. I'm just going to say rest in peace to Pop Smoke. I'm going to continue to shake the room. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to continue to bang your music. And I just want to say rest in peace and my condolences to the family and to his friends and we're just gonna keep it going for you rest in peace all right y'all i'm out